We want to welcome everybody here today for this uh, this, this conference. This is a great day uh, in the city of Clinton, Richmond County because it's an opportunity to put a brand new piece of apparatus into, into, uh, into play. Before I move on, I want to just thank our leaders. We want to thank our mayor, Mayor Benjamin, our councilman, Will Brennan, uh, our councilwoman, uh, Teresio, uh, our county administrator, Mr. Brown, and also our assistant county administrator, Dr. Thompson. Truly, this cannot happen without the collaborative efforts of all these people, but not only on these people, but also our community, our firefighters, and all, all those that have a part in it. We want to give a special thanks all to our city manager who could not be here today. This is a brand new piece of equipment that appears. This truck costs a little over $1.2 million. And it's going to serve the Five Points area, also the Shannon area, and any place that this truck is needed. So it's not, it's not unusual for this truck to not only be in this neighborhood, but be in neighborhoods abroad, whether it be in the city or whether it be in the county. So really appreciate the opportunity to put this into play. Uh, we always, uh, the city and the county, always try to make sure that we got the right piece of equipment, that we got good equipment that can be used to, to serve this neighborhood, this community, this city, this county, but also something that all firefighters can be proud of. So we're extremely happy to be here today to put this in service. Before we move on, I want to give our, 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 all our elected officials and, and managers the opportunity to come say something if they so desire. I explicitly told the chief I did not want to speak. <laughs> he, 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 never, he, never he never listens to me. Um, no, this, this is just a, um, we live in such a, a challenging world right now as we, as we deal with the pandemic, as we work our way through the economic disruption and, and social unrest, and just taking a, a moment to, to celebrate, uh, a, a, I think something that couldn't be any more Americana than the men and women who serve the Columbia Richmond Fire Department, uh, putting a new piece of public equipment into place that keeps all of our families safe. Uh, it, it's what happens when you get great partnership between the city and the county, and you get true public servants who are dedicated to making sure all of our families remain safe. So we're just glad to be here. Uh, I'm so glad to be here with uh, Councilman Bredden, Councilman Teresio, and, and Dr. Thompson, Mr. Brown. Um, I mean, uh, we all work every single day to make sure that Chief Jenkins and his entire team, that they have what they need. And um, uh, it's just a good day, a, a good day. And, uh, and so happy these beautiful babies can join us as well. Mm -hmm. The reason why we all do what we do is so they have an opportunity to live up to their full promise and potential in this great country. So glad to be here. I'm gonna step aside. Chief, thank you so much for the beautiful weather for us to push in this beautiful truck. It's great to be surrounded by uh, city and county elected officials. And I want everybody in Richland County, in uh, every municipality in Richland County to remember, it takes a city county effort to provide for wonderful fire services. And we have to keep that a priority. So. We look forward to continuing that strong relationship with our friends at the county to, to provide the funding that, that our wonderful city, Richland, Columbia Richland Fire Department needs to do their job and do their job safely. So again, Chief, thank you for having us out today. And thank you to our first responders, our, uh, our, our fire professionals to keep us safe. Thank you so much. Thank you all for coming here to witness this uh, amazing tradition. This is one of the most fun things that I get to do is to help push in these fire trucks. Um, it's amazing that we get to have this, um, this brand new piece of equipment to serve the county and the city together. Um, so yeah, thank you all for being here to help us celebrate. Just very briefly, I just wanna echo on what the mayor said and what Mr. Brennan said. It's important that we have a partnership. And our presence here today, Council Member Terracio, Dr. Thompson and myself, the County Administrator, is just a testament to our commitment to serve as good community partners with the City of Columbia, as well as our other organizations that we serve with. So again, just want to say thank you for the opportunity to come out and show the men and women of the Fire Department that those who are sometimes are not seen, that we support you that we want to make sure you know that we're here and our representation here communicate that to you on today. So again, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Chief Jenkins. Thank you, members that are represented here today. Uh, back in the day when they had the horses pulling the uh, fire apparatus, when they get a new piece of equipment or when they get back to the station, the horses couldn't back the truck in. So they, that's, they used to have to push it in. 
So we have adopted that tradition when we put a new piece of equipment in that we're going to actually push it in, um, signifying a, a, a new apparatus going in, in the service. And all before we do before we do the push in, we all offer up a prayer uh, for both our men and women that ride these trucks, the community that is served, and just pray that we get good service out of it. I'm at this at, at this time with Dr. Thompson with mind leading us in that prayer. Absolutely. Absolutely. Let us pray. Lord God, we're just so thankful for another day. We thank you for the investment uh, that is being made in this community here in Columbia, Richland County, Lord God. We thank you, Lord, for the men and women who will be using this apparatus, Lord God. Please continue to keep them safe, Lord God. Continue to guide them and provide them with all the necessary protection. Protect their family while they're away from their families, Lord God. And we'll forever give you the praise, honor, and glory. It is in your name, Jesus the Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen.